The largest fundraising event in Hampton Roads. More than 20,000 donors have raised more than $1.8 million to date. The Peninsula Community Foundation is hosting Give Local 757. We've told you about it before. And the next day of giving is not until May 8th, but registration is already ongoing. And here with how you can help is Will Bain, Director of Community Projects. Will, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Andre. It's great to be here. A project that uh, I've met uh, several of these nonprofits. Uh, I help with one of them every year. So uh, these are, they're not even big nonprofits. That's right. And, and some of them are helping adults read, like the, the one that I'm, I'm a part of every year here. Uh, talk to us a little bit why this is so important. What does this money go to? Sure. So we see that across Hampton Roads, there are wonderful nonprofits doing worthy work, both on the peninsula and in the south side. For a lot of these nonprofits, though, they're a one or two person operation. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a full time employee. Maybe it's a labor of love right. out of someone's house. Mm -hmm. And so we at the foundation really want to ensure that all of those nonprofits have both the capacity and the infrastructure to be able to be successful and have an easy way to be able to raise funds. So just so folks can understand this, this is a lot of times these are people with a passion to help someone. That's exactly right. And they're donating their time. And and this is the only way they get any kind of funding if they need to buy materials that go along with it. So that's what this is all about if, if you really want to know. So now we, um, uh, you, you, we're getting started with the early registration process. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to get everyone registered before? Because it's so, such a long time away until the actual event. I think it's important to remember that these days don't run just on the day that they occur. In fact, it's important for there to be significant work that nonprofits do to prepare themselves to have the most successful giving day possible. We like to get nonprofits registered early so that we can do trainings with them to help them build the capacity to raise as much money as possible and also to understand exactly how the process is going to work so they can have the most productive day. A lot of the times they're focused on the issue that they're helping other folks with so they're not really the best at raising money but they need the money to keep their projects going. That's so exactly that's right and about. so we want to help as much as possible in making that a smooth process right. for our Peninsula and Southside nonprofits. So what you're seeing here is from a couple of years ago when we gathered a lot of these nonprofits most of them gathered over in Hampton mm -hmm. um, as we launched a big campaign a couple of years ago something we've been part of here at 13 News Now. Uh, so what do folks need to know about uh, getting things started early, getting the ball rolling early. Sure, if you're the director of a nonprofit or you work for a nonprofit interested in participating in the largest day of giving in Hampton Roads, then head on over to our website. It's www.pcfvirginia.org. And there you can find links to be able to register and also to be able to send us emails if you have any questions about the day. PCS Virginia, you see some of the information right there. Uh, it is not till next year, but you want to get registered now if you're one of these nonprofits that are helping folks out and you want to participate. It's a fantastic event last year. $600,000 raised. You're hoping to beat that again this year. Hopefully we'll get over a million dollars. Absolutely. These awesome nonprofits. You want to have a, you have another uh, organization you want to make sure that we mention here. Well, the, the, the foundation, which is the uh, hosting organization for Give Local, does a lot of other things. We're working in important issues, uh, whether that's managing funds to help people who are in housing crises or whether that's working in early childhood education to try to redefine what that looks like on the peninsula. Um, we're working to try to imagine a brighter peninsula together. And so if you're passionate about something and want to talk about how we can strengthen the peninsula, we invite you to check out that same website, www.pcfvirginia.org, and talk about exactly how we can imagine a stronger community together. Well, Ben, thank you so much. A lot to do here in terms of helping out the community around you so you can start with both of these and just hit that website. We'll have more of that on our website, 13newsnow.com. And you can also see this interview again. But go out there, get involved, help those charities around Hampton Roads. We will be right back.